guys welcome back thank you for watching my other videos and thank you for watching this video in advance if you haven't subscribed please click on the subscribe button thank you in this video we're gonna be making some banana bread if you want to see how I made this banana bread keep on watching for the ingredient we're gonna be using some overripe bananas our purpose flour brown sugar butter eggs baking soda salt and nutmeg the ingredient list and the measurement is for one loaf of bread but if you want two loaves you can always double this recipe in this video I'm actually gonna be making some um, banana breads I'm gonna be making two loaves of banana bread so let's dive into the video the first thing you want to do is mash your bananas you can use a masher you can use a wooden stick and to make sure that it's well mashed you can always use an electric beater to mash it even more so after that you want to add some brown sugar and butter and mix it together Since I'm making two loaves, I'm going to be using two cups of butter and I mean one cup of butter and two cups of brown sugar and I'm just mixing this together. Then you want to beat your eggs and mix it with the electric beater. You can always use a wooden spoon or a manual beater if you don't have electric beater. And you want to mix the banana mixture into the sugar mixture and then you use the electric beater to beat it together but you want to make sure you're doing all this mixing on the lowest um, the, the lowest setting so you said this is set this aside and we're gonna do all the dry ingredients so I'm using four cups of all purpose flour and I'm using um, a tablespoon of baking soda, half a, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I'm mixing it together. So the next thing you want to do is pour all the wet ingredient into the dry ingredient, then mix it together with a, with a wooden spoon. So while doing this, you make sure that you already oil your pans. You can use a, um, a spray or you can use butter or you can use oil it doesn't really matter what you use just make sure that your pans are oil so this is it guys it doesn't have to be mixed all the way the bananas doesn't have to be fully blended you can have chunks of bananas in there it even makes it better so you want to dump this into the baking pan make sure it's not like to the very top of the of the pan because it's gonna swell up it's gonna rise so I'm just using the wooden spoon to smooth in the top so it can look pretty so then make sure you set your oven to 350 degree Fahrenheit and we're gonna be baking this for 15 minutes you actually bake it for 15 minutes and sometimes you can I mean to make sure that it's cooked or it's fully baked you want to dip your knife into the center of the bread if it comes out smoothly that means it's done but if it doesn't come out smoothly like that you have to put it back in the oven for additional 10 minutes and once that's done you put it on the cooling rack make sure that you pour it out of the baking pan because if it's still in the baking pan even though it's out of the oven it's still baking so that's it guys it is done you can always add more sugar to this recipe or you can take some out for the recipe I actually use one cup of brown sugar you can always use one and a half cups if you want it to be more sweeter but I think I used a reasonable amount of sugar because this was really really sweet this can be a breakfast uh, meal you have this with a cup of hot chocolate you can have this as a dessert or you can actually have this as a, as a snack doesn't really matter but that's it guys 
So thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in my next video. Bye.